Okay, so we're now starting to approach the general rule that they're, that they're trying to get us to find and prove. But uh, there's a lot of writing here. Obviously, I'll, I'll try and make it, uh, I'll try and simplify it. So for the case when n is equal to 5, um, we have roots 1, 2, omega to the 4. We know this, and it just says, it's not asking you to show this now, it just says it can be shown that p0, p1 times p0, p2 times p0, p3 times p0, p4 equals 5. Now we had, we've already done, that this times this equals 3. And this times this times this equals 4. And this times this times this times this equals 5. So they then say, right, well imagine now we've got um, z to the n minus 1 with roots 1 to omega to the n minus 1, what would, it just says suggest a value, so this isn't proved anything, but I think it's a reasonable thing that we can we can have a good guess at what this is going to be. Um, this times this times all the way to this, when we went to p2, it was 3, when we went to p3, it was 4, when we went to p4, it was 5, when we go to p n minus 1, it's going to be equal to n. And that's it. It's just one mark. Then, part f. It says, p0, p1 can be expressed as the magnitude of 1 minus omega. Now, the reason it can that, that's the case is because, look, this is your p0, and then your p1 is somewhere, depending on what n is. But let's just say it's somewhere here. This is your p1. Now this, um, this is just 1. This is a length of 1. And this as a vector is omega. So uh, p0, p1, which is this, uh, let's say this vector here, the magnitude of this vector would be the magnitude of this omega minus 1. So that's why uh, p0, p1 is 1 minus omega. But similarly, imagine I have the next one here, which would be um, p2. This guy is omega squared. So now, let's write this here. This is omega squared. So the magnitude of, let's say, let's do here, p0, p2 is going to be, so let's write this here, p0, p2, the magnitude of this is going to be the um, sorry, I, I don't need to put that in a magnitude because it is the magnitude. P0, P2 is going to be the magnitude of 1 minus omega squared. And then P0, P3, P0, P3 is going to be the magnitude of 1 minus omega cubed. Same reason. Okay, and then F part I, I, it says, hence write down an expression for P0, P n minus 1 in terms of n and omega. Again, this is only one worth one mark, and I'm guessing you could probably do it if you've done these two. P0, P n minus 1 is going to equal the magnitude of 1 minus omega to the n minus 1. Okay, that is part F. One more part to go.